This is our co-main event of the evening, Eternal MMA 33. This fight is scheduled for three five-minute rounds of MMA action. Garth Harriman, our referee, round one. Round number one, they touch him up. Tanira Nathan Cage side with Benny Elloway. Eternal Australian flyaway title is on the line. Braden Gray versus Philip Kim. Tia had a chat to the last Eternal flyweight champion, Timmy Moore, had a chat to him earlier. Um, Due to family reasons, he just had a brand new baby, so he's had to vacate the title. He's going to come back in roughly a year, but he's here tonight. He's in the crowd. He's looking forward to seeing who he's going to have to chase down. Well, for the for the meantime, for the title, um, you know, Timmy had a good run as a champion, so it'd be good to see him get back in the cage down the track. And congratulations to Timmy Moore on his newborn. As we go back to the action within the cage, Philip Kim looking for a takedown on Braden Graham early here in the first round. And nice he executes nicely. Takedown. Kim, control on top, floating on top of those hooks. Dr. Bray trying to get back to his feet with that high underhook. Just has to watch out for his neck. Being stuffed ag up against the cage is not where you want to be. Philip Kim looking to establish dominance early here in the first. Braden Graham back to his feet. And he's down again. Great flexibility shown by Dr. Bray there. Kim still hasn't completed the takedown. Both fighters undefeated. As the old cliche goes, somebody's O has got to go. But for the one that it does not, they will be crowned the eternal Australian flyweight champion. Philip Kim landing some good shots on the inside here. Like, even though Kim can't get past those hooks, he's just floating on top and still doing damage. Again, Benny, it seems to be the story of our fight card this evening. The ground game absolutely essential in mixed martial arts. Definitely essential. You can't get by without it. Kim there, isolating far side. Just in half guard there, just, just keeping control. Trying to slice through. Use his free foot here to slice through here. Make sure he's got that fast on underhook. He's got great control of the upper body. But Bray, very crafty of his back. Philip Kim versus Dr. Bray. This fight brought to you by Building Industry Training. Coming to you live and on Foxtel from the Southport Shark Sports Club here on the Gold Coast in Queensland, Australia. Again, Bray, you know, playing around with the Z guard there or the knee shield. Taking a bit of damage, not really moving anywhere. Kim's in a very good, very good. Philip right Kim starting to land some big shots. Kim's in a very good job of staying on top. Smothering Brayden, not, not letting him move at all. Not giving Brayden any space at all. Philip Kim dominant in round number one. And again, see, this is, this is tiring. This is very tiring. Braden Graham right in front of his corner. Philip Kim stuffing him up against the cage. Big shots from Kim. 
corner. Telling Braden, look for the underhook, hip escape, and get back to your feet as he looks to do so right here in the first round. What's the most important thing for Dr. Bray to do here, Benny? He's not looking good so far. However, he's back down. I think he's got he's to either bring Kim all the way down or he's got to make a decent, a decent escape and get up. He's, he's sort of playing in no man's land. And as you can see, Kim's just, he's just landing. Philip Kim going Scoring to and work landing. on Braden Graham. And now he's got a hook in on the cage. Completely dominating the first round. And Braden Graham with a takedown on Philip Kim. Beautiful execution there, Benny. Great single leg. Just again, as we've seen tonight, we've got to secure the takedown once he hits the ground. Last 15 seconds of round number one here in our Eternal Flyway Championship bout, our co-main event of the evening. Great wrestling from Kim there. Beautiful wrestling by Philip Kim. Round one comes to an end. Flyweight title on the line here in our co-main event, Graydon Graham versus Philip Kim. Graydon Graham coming out looking a bit more loose here in round number two. Oh, big shot there by Braden. And another. This is what we need to see more from Braden Graham. Dr. Bray going to work early on Philip Kim. Success with that takedown the first round right at the end there. So it looks like he's got a bit of confidence. He knows he can get the takedown, but let's try and see him secure it once he hits the ground. And start to give a bit of payback on Kim. Good start to the second round here for Braden Graham. He's looking for that Kimura reversal. There we go. He needs to sit his hips out towards the Kimura, towards the lock that he's got. Drop his weight and try and rotate Braden onto his back. Braden Graham coming a long way from Blenheim, New Zealand. Fighting under the watchful eye of Marcelo Lopez against Philip Kim. Also undefeated the flyweight eternal Australian flyweight title here this evening. Kim doing a great job of defensive wrestling on the cage. Nice knee to the body there by Braden as Philip Kim looks for a reversal but he's back in the same spot that he was seconds ago. Keep that dumb. He's keep a high grip on that single leg. Let's it go. We see some action now. And here we go. Leg nice. kick caught, and down he goes. Nice Philip kick. Kim on top once again. Slowly passing a half. Good control on that far side underhook as well. As we approach the three minute mark of round number two here in our Flyway Championship bout, this fight brought to you by Building Industry Training, one of our proud sponsors here for Eternal 33 tonight. You've got to remember, Kim's a brown belt on the ground, so depending on how well he's mixed his MMA wrestling and, and grappling him with it, you know, brown belt's definitely a dangerous, dangerous level. It's not often we see grappling in the middle of the cage, so I guess a little bit more jiu-jitsu style grappling can happen here. Philip Kim looking to land strikes on the inside. Benny, walk us through what's going on here for our fans at home who don't necessarily appreciate the ground game as much as the stand-up in mixed martial arts. So Kim obviously caught in the half guard there, trying to slice through now. Just got his bit of a quarter guard, some call. Um, now passed through the half guard. So definitely the idea is to try and pass the guard and look for some... Philip Kim looking for an armbar here. Armbar's deep. It's a deep armbar. Braden's... Braden looks okay. Not grimacing yet. Looks like he's just turned his wrist and he's out up to the single leg. Beautiful defense there by Dr. Bray. Kim counters again and... Superior grappling shown here by Philip Kim in the second round. 
He snapped that armbar on quick, Benny. I thought he had it in deep. I thought he was deep as well, but you know, like we've seen tonight, we've, we've seen some great defense on the ground. We have. We've seen great submissions executed. We've also seen great escapes. Good outside reap from Kim. He's definitely looked like he's a lot better than his record, you know, which is, which is a great thing. Very experienced, obviously coming from a gym like uh, Anthony Perosh. You're definitely going to have your hardest fights on the mat there during the week in training. Absolutely. Philip Kim fighting out of Team Perosh, mixed martial arts. I definitely know Anthony's had some tough fights in his career. <laughs> he has indeed. I'm sure he's got a lot of knowledge to pass on to the guys. More about, you know, resilience as well. And, um, you know, Kim's definitely showing that as a quality in this fight right now. Coached by Anthony Perosh, he is looking to make his mark here tonight against... Beautiful back take there. Braden Graham is stretching him out. He's flattened him out here, Benny. He's under the neck. He's going for the full medal on again. This could be it. Kim looking to become the feather, uh, the flyweight title. Braden Graham fighting tooth and nail for what is a very dominant performance by Philip Kim. He's in full mount. This is exactly where Kim wants to be. Exactly where Braden Graham does not want to be. 10 seconds to go in round number two. Stepping over for the mounted triangle. We saw this in the last fight. He's got it's deep. He's Ooh, and he is saved by the bell. I tell you what, if we had another 30 seconds, it would have made for an interesting finish. Nonetheless, Philip Kim dominant in round number two, Benny. Kim, I'm impressed. Just one more round to go at the end of this round. We will have a new flyweight champion. Round three. Round number three of our eternal Australian flyweight title bout here this evening is underway. And they start trading immediately. Philip Kim versus Braden Graham. Proudly brought to you by Fight Life. Live and only on Foxtel from the Southport Shark Sports Club here on the Gold Coast in Queensland, Australia. Tanir and Nathan cage side with Benny Elloway. Benny. Yes, Fight Life providing all the MMA apparel and grappling gear on the Gold Coast. The boys have been a, a big part of Eternal. Along with our sponsors, Engage Industries, providing fight gear for Braden Graham here this evening. Thank you to all our sponsors involved in this fantastic MMA event tonight. Braden's starting to look a little, a little tired at the moment. I'm, I'm liking the way Kim's... He's, stand, he's looking strong. Nice leg kick there by Philip Kim. So we see the welts starting to line up on the edge of Braden's shorts there. Braden's hands are coming low. Great, great single leg takedown from Kim. And again, passes to half straight away. Slices straight through. Philip Kim exactly where he wants to be. He has spent the majority of this fight on top of Braden Graham. And again, that, that brown belt grappling background, just slicing straight through the guard. Looking to go from the half to side. Just that head control, far side underhook control. You know, it's virtually impossible for Braden to start to mount attacks. We are in the third round of our co-main event this evening. Two of our undefeated fighters fighting for the eternal Australian MMA flyweight title. You'd have to think Benny Braden has to pull something out of the bag here. This is where it counts. We've just watched the last couple of rounds and he hasn't really had an answer for this position on the ground. He's going to the lockdown here in the half guard, but you know, Kim's, he seems happy, content just to sit there and score. And scoring he is, and he's landing some good elbows to the side of the head of Dr. Bray. You can't eat too many of those, Benny. Now you'll end up with a full belly, won't you? <laughs> I'll tell you what, the amount of times I've said eat tonight, absolutely ridiculous. Straight through, slicing straight through. Beautiful, beautiful grappling from Kim. Nonetheless, Benny Alloway keeping me in line here in our third round of our co main event. Got a good crank on the neck there from top position. Braden looks, looks to be wincing a little bit. I'm not sure what he's looking for though. Kim again, just on, knee slicing straight up, through. Oh, good Ooh. punches. Good punches from top. Don't hold him behind the 
Kim landing some good punches from side control. Braden Graham, not much to answer for here in the third. Just look for Kim to keep control this round again. I think try and set up for another submission, maybe with a little more time than what he took in the, the last round. Braden just not having the answer at all off his back. Seems to be a big hole in his game that we've seen so far. You see the difference in experience as far as the ground game is concerned. Philip Kim absolutely dominant here tonight. And they're back to their feet, Benny. Ooh, big knee there by Braden Graham. Philip seems to be okay though. Come on, Southpaw, way down to the final minute. This is for the title. 60 seconds to go for a new flyweight champion. Better voice of the cage, Dave Ella, ramping up the crowd once again. Someone is cut. Someone's cut, Benny. That is not a good sign. Might actually. Kim might actually be a little. Philip, yeah. Looks like he's a bit of claret coming from the nose, from the head. Might have been from that big knee earlier on that Dr. Bray delivered. Caught him flush on the nose. Go Brayden. Go Brayden, work, work. Now, courtesy of Mr. Kim, Braden has some new body paint. Philip Kim just going to work on Braden Graham. Taking no prisoners here in the third. Despite throwing 800 punches in this round, he's, he's still going. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen, as we bring our co-main event to a close. We will go to the judges' scorecards for an official decision. However, a dominant performance here for Philip Kim. All right, ladies and gentlemen, have a round of applause for these two guys fighting for our Australian title here this evening. We go to the judges' scorecards after our three rounds. Our judges score the fight 30-27, 30-27, 30-26 for the winner and the new eternal Australian flyweight champion in the red corner, Philip Kim. And the new internal Australian flyweight champion, Philip Kim. Philip, congratulations on a dominant performance here tonight. How does it feel to have that belt finally over your shoulder? He did You're representing Team Carol's Mixed Martial Arts. How much does this mean to you and the team at Team Parish? Uh, I truly believe that my product of everyone around me, my team, friends, family, supporters, and it just shows how many people I have supporting me tonight here. And I appreciate everyone who has been here. Thank you. Well, once again, congratulations on a dominant performance. You are still undefeated. You are the new internal Australian flyweight champion. Tell us what's next for who's next for Philip Kim. Yeah. Yeah. I can't answer that question. We'll see what happens again. Uh, on to, on to big things. Once again, congratulations, our new eternal Australian flyweight champion, Philip Kim.